Our gin starts with the core three botanicals, juniper, coriander, and angelica root. So we throw them in the night before uh, with our neutral spirit and water. We've diluted to 60%. They're done overnight just to help them soak up and start releasing their, their compounds. In the morning, we'll load the lighter botanicals that we use. So that's lavender, bay leaf, cardamom, black pepper, and the two citruses, grapefruit and lime. And we load those in the morning. We apply the steam after about 45 minutes. Distillate starts coming through. So we take a, about a three and a half liter heads cut, and then we run to hearts. So we run uh, the gym quite slow. We go to about 55 liters an hour, um, and that's gonna take seven and a half odd hours. Uh, just nice gentle meander down. And at 80%, which is quite high for, for gin, we, we do cut. We will then hold that gin distillate for five days minimum together because it'll be two batches in one IBC. That will just allow them to mellow out. And then Claire will take those IBCs after the resting period, dilute and put on the bottling line. We prefer distilling with all the botanicals in the kettle at the same time, um, primarily because they're gonna to come together um, together as they distill in a way that they wouldn't if you distill the botanicals separately and then blend back. It's perceived that the, the single pass uh, one shot, it creates a higher quality distillate. So that's why we went down that road. We want to be a premium product and we, we feel that it gives a sort of more integrated gin. We do have quite a high botanical load. We certainly wouldn't want to filter it, chill filter it because, and certainly to my mind, the whole point of gin is taking what's essentially a flavorless liquid, putting botanicals in to flavor it, why would you take them out again? Uh, it just doesn't seem a very logical process. So by not doing that, we retain a lot of the oils and it's, it's flavor. The R&D lab has been set up uh, with a 50 liter Holstein and it just allows us to create recipes and work with things and, and have a good tinker uh, and understand gins better. Uh, and with the variety of things we've got planned to come out over the next few years, it's certainly a very exciting time.